My name is Akshay Anantapadmanabhan, and I will begin this interactive live session with a short Murdangam and Konnakol solo, a combination of Konnakol and Murdangam. Enjoy. And if noticed, I have my headphones on, so if you have yours too, you can have a better listening experience. Eight beat cycle, Adi Talam. Two. Ta, ta, din, ta, ta, din, din, ta. Ta, ta, din, ta, ta, din, din, ta. Kartakata, ta, din, ta, ta, din, ta, 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 ta. ರತ್ತಕ್ಕಿಟ್ಟಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗದಗ
solo and I <clears throat> want to I wanted to play this before having any conversation so this live is definitely going to be a lot about interacting so please feel free to share any questions that you have any comments any observations and you know we can have a conversation about it for sure so first I wanted to specifically mention that uh, this first segment is a special dedication that I wanted to do for my guru, Sri T. H. Subhash Chandran. So, <clears throat> this is actually the first time since the lockdowns and actually since my guru, Sri T. H. Subhash Chandran, passed away. And it's been a little over two weeks now, so I thought it would only be appropriate to begin with the inspirations that he left all of us with. So Subhash Mama, as we fondly call him, he is a pioneer of Konakol performance and a revered Gatam artist, especially for his technique and thought. And really, whatever he did, he was always a trendsetter. And <clears throat> he was just you know, a ray of sunshine. He always found a way to make learning fun and inspired so many lives of not only his disciples, but anybody that he actually met. He always showed us how to be human first and then a musician. And we will forever miss him. And with that, 
you know, I'm just going to go through some of the comments and uh, maybe answer some of the questions or just say hi to folks, and then I will go to the next piece. So let's go back to my screen. And OK. So one second. All right. So we'll say hi to <coughs> everyone. Ravi Ravindra, hi. Lina Das, hello. Okay, I see my father online. Happy Father's Day to everyone. So, <coughs> and actually, it's a very special day in that sense because he's also watching it live from the other room. But we all get to spend some time with our families in different ways. And, uh, you know, it's been an interesting few months. But, uh, you know, we'll stay positive and probably get through this, hopefully, with more music. <coughs> Also, it happens to be World Music Day, uh, World Yoga Day, and so many different interesting experiences happening around the world just today. It's Sunday, it's Earth Day. I think there's a special celebration of 50 years of Earth Day. So yeah, let's celebrate all of these days together on today, which is Sunday, in through rhythm. And I think there are a lot of other lives that are happening as well. So I just I specifically wanted to talk about World Music Day because uh, I moved to India about eight years ago to pursue music full time. And uh, before that, I used to celebrate World Music Day in New York City. And unfortunately, I'm sure that the same kind of experiences are not happening right now, given the context. But what it was was very beautiful. Um, I think throughout New York City, what World Music Day, at least how we celebrated it, was just traveling throughout the city and performing in different parts of the city. And I've performed in Cornelia Street Cafe, which is a small, which doesn't exist anymore, but was a beautiful cafe. And we'd have outdoors and indoor performances and WKCR, Raga Live, all night series. So like throughout the day, it'd be different performances in different venues basically to kind of promote culture and bring together different cultural music forms and show it to the amount, the different cultures that exist in New York City itself. So it was, it was a very fun experience for me. And uh, I guess I wanted to go on to the <clears throat> next piece, which I worked on with Mahesh Raghavan. And, uh, you know, we both are Indian Raga fellows from different years, but since then we have collaborated a lot together. And this is a piece that was programmed by him, and I composed the rhythmic ideas. The construct is the same as you know what you would hear in a classical setting, but the elements are switched up in a different way to kind of make it interesting in a completely different space. So I'm going to give this a shot. So we're going to hear the track and Murdangam together in this piece. Tadik, 
தரகடதும் தரகடதும் தரகடதாங்கதுக்கு தரகடதக்கு தரகடதாங்கதுக்கு தரகடதக்கு actually a piece called Dawn of Takadimi. And you can look up the original version on our YouTube channels. Uh, it's on my playlists, and it's also on Mahesh's YouTube channel. And the interesting story behind that is we I think shot it at 6 AM on a beach, which was really nice to think about now, especially since we're not able to go outside at all. But shot it on a beach, and you know, people were, hordes of people were walking, taking walks. and we were trying to figure out how to get the right shots while not getting all these you know, joggers and walkers who were strolling on the beach that day. So even though we were up super early and getting the sunrise in the shot, we still had these interesting challenges to face during the shoot. Um, so that's a little interesting story about this. So the next thing. I wanted to just quickly discuss about is uh, Patreon, which I launched on very recently. And Patreon is a, is a platform where artists um, get supported by supporters and fans. And you can look at the link here to my Patreon page. And basically, it's a way for artists and uh, supporters to connect in different ways and you know, in return, artists also offer different types of perks and thank yous for supporting whatever they continue doing, whatever creative process that they are doing. So you can go check that out. The link is in the description as well. And I think we can keep moving. So the next piece that I wanted to quickly discuss about is called Konokol Express. And this is something that I released uh, worked on as a collaboration on the Indian Raga channel. And I think it's a super fun piece. And a little introduction about my relationship with Indian Raga, which has been quite a long-standing one. Uh, when I moved 
to India about eight years ago. That's when I started performing uh, with Indian Raga. I think that's when Indian Raga also launched. And I was one of their first fellows in the fellowship program. And the year after that, I was a mentor for one of their programs. I also led one of their very first labs that happened. And so we've been together in a lot of firsts. And you know, I think that journey has been very nice. And we've grown parallelly in different ways. And it's been a very interesting experience and collaboration with Indian Raga. And uh, this piece, especially, Konokol Express, is slightly different on the, on the page, on, on their YouTube channel. Kind of remorphed it in a different way. So in this piece, I, I generally like to perform this as a more interactive piece. So you can also learn about Konokol through this piece. This is like a primer to Konokol, if you may. So a little bit about Konokol. Konokol is this vocal percussive language. Right? It has become popularized more and more. And uh, basically, this is going to use the number three as the base phrase of the chorus line of this piece. So you have one in Konakol is ta, two in this language is ta ka, and three is ta ki ta. Right? So one is ta, two is ta ka, and three is ta ki ta. So this piece will use takkitta. So the chorus line is takkitta, takkitta ta, takkitta, takkitta ta, takkitta, takkitta ta, takkitta, takkitta ta. One, two, three, one, two, three, ta, takkitta, takkitta ta, takkitta, takkitta ta. So if you're at home right now, just repeat this with me. Okay? Takkitta, takkitta ta, takkitta. Awesome. Now we're going to turn up the pace a little bit. A little faster. So you have to say it three times and then stop. 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 So that is the chorus line. So if you feel like joining in from wherever you are, I feel like this is a nice piece for bringing the world together, closer together through rhythm. So wherever you are, you can recite this line with me whenever you hear the chorus line of the piece. So here is Konokol Express, and we are ready. Tuck it, 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 tuck it
All right. So that again is called Konakol Express. And uh, originally it was performed by several of Indian Raga fellows. And I actually played Mridangam on this track. But today I'll be, I did Konakol and Kanjira. Kanjira, for all of you who don't know, is a frame drum. And basically it creates a lot of dynamic sound and ranges just from a small circular instrument. OK, so for the next piece, I will be playing a short Murdangam solo, a more meditative piece, where I will just, I think there's, there's a lot of uh, stress that's going around for everyone. So this is a more meditative piece on the Murdangam, where I'll be playing Sarvalagu patterns, patterns that uh, you can groove to and kind of enjoy and meditate in. And after that, we'll, I'll have a short special surprise and a special guest to introduce you all to. All right. So here you go.
short segment of Sarvalagu patterns concluded by a rhythmic composition, Amora and Korve in Adi Talam, eight beat cycle. So now I have a special guest that I want to introduce. So actually, recently, uh, actually over time, my relationship with Indian Raga, we have collaborated in so many different projects. And the most recent being Sama Javaragamana with uh, Ramakrishnan Murthy, which was released last year, Ramakrishnan Murthy and Mahesh Raghavan. And then just right before the lockdowns and everything was uh, Swagatam Krishna with Madhu Ayer and Purnima. And my most recent collaboration on the Indian Raga channel was actually with Bharatanatyam dancer and my wife, Sudharma Vaitinathan. And obviously she's here today, so I thought it'll make it interesting to just talk about the process that we went through because we have some interesting stories about how quickly we came up with this piece and performance. It's an original piece called Sri Shankari. So I'd like to invite Sudharma Vaidinadan to the living room space. <laughs> And while she's setting up, just want to say hello to everyone who is online with us today. I know there are so many different lives that are happening, and it's so nice for all of you to be joining us and watching everything, listening to everything. Um, thank you for everyone who's been applauding and finding this very meditative and soothing and for your comments of positivity. So this is Sudharma Vaidinadan. You may have recognized her from uh, Sri Shankari, which is our recent original that we worked on. So hello, everyone, and thanks for having me over. <laughs> yeah, we thought it'd be interesting to have it as a conversation at some point, because talking to a camera is actually much more difficult than performing live all the time. So it's a very different shift for all of us as artists because we're getting used to this new space, this new online space and context. Speaking of online space and context, maybe we can give a little context to Sri Shankari. Yeah, it was actually uh, a very special collaboration, like he said. Um, we've never done anything together before. so. Uh, this came off like a very sudden surprise uh, when Indian Raga asked us to uh, come up with something that um, could be uh, shot in like two days. Yeah, this was a shooting for YouTube spaces. So YouTube had reached out to uh, Indian Raga to create this content and they in turn reached out to us. And So it was uh, literally like uh, two days before the actual shoot when uh, we were asked to ideate. So uh, we just sat down and we brainstormed a couple of ideas and uh, we didn't know how we could even like pull this through uh, in just two days. So then we, uh, I think overnight, just sat and came up with this whole concept of uh, uh, using just rhythm and Bharatanatyam uh, with uh, lyrical, uh, like a lyrical composition that could help in uh, supporting this whole piece together. So we had the uh, expert help of uh, some real professionals uh, uh, who are seniors from the dance field, uh, Sri G. Vijay Raghavan, who is a very senior Mridangist in the Bharatanatyam uh, uh, industry, helped us uh, compose the whole lyrical and rhythmic uh, sections of the piece. And uh, he gave it to us like overnight in no time. We just gave him this whole a uh, structure that we wanted to come up with. And in no time, we had these beautiful lyrics and uh, whole rhythm structure. And uh, later, we realized that uh, the shoot was going to happen in two days, and we had no way to get the track done because all the musicians were like super busy, uh, given that it was uh, very close to the December season that was approaching. Uh, so 
uh, it's it's like a mad rush here. So uh, we didn't know what we would do. So then we got the help of uh, Shike Hari Prasad, who is another very senior uh, vocalist, who helped us set the tune for this whole uh, song. And uh, yeah, basically yeah. in in two days we. I mean, in one day we actually got all the content ready. Like overnight, we got the content ready with the help of all these wonderful people. And uh, we actually worked on it in reverse. So usually, when yeah. you when you record a music video, you record it, and you then have you shoot the track the in hand when you go and actually perform it live uh, for the video. But we just had no recording, and we went with like a a scratch track, which wasn't even scratch. It was it was scratch to scratch. So <laughs> so we just had a structure. I laid out a structure overnight, yeah. basically, and uh, kind of we figured out the parts that we were. Yeah, Probably I actually going still to remember perform. like rushing to my guru's uh, uh, house the next morning uh, because I was so overwhelmed with what was happening and I didn't know if I could even like put my thoughts together. So I was like, I really needed help and I just ran to his house and uh, that's how like the whole piece came together with uh, a lot of uh, support and help from wonderful people and yeah, so we just went and that morning we were just there at the YouTube space shooting for a song that we didn't have any idea of how it was going to look. Of course, this is not the norm for <laughs> Indian raga in any way. But yeah, but they gave mm. us the liberty to do uh, what we thought would work uh, without even knowing what we were going to like, uh, you know, uh, sort of present. So thanks to Indian raga and to Shriram for like trusting us blindly, literally, <laughs> with such an amazing production and. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's been so special in so many ways and... You should, you should definitely go check it out and specifically, also I want you to talk about the concept. Yes, and the concept uh, that uh, I wanted to present was the concept of Ardhanari, uh, which is uh, a very uh, a philosophical and mythological concept uh, in the Indian mythology. So uh, it has a lot of... Uh, lot of subtext to it but uh, the overall idea was to show that there is two sides to anything that happens uh, even in the world like there's good bad there's uh, happiness there's sadness and it all goes so well hand in hand man woman and the relationships and everything so uh, we thought it I mean I we just thought it's something like we could present as a, as a piece which doesn't have a real uh, text to it, but uh, has so much value in our uh, culture. So, and being our first piece together, uh, it had to be something uh, unique and special. So, uh, yeah. So, the, and the even the rhythmic part of it had the mm -hmm. the two halves where we use threes for one and fours for the other. So half. it was always so, about this concept of duality, whether it's through rhythm or through the dance performance. Yeah, so I guess uh, everything came out so well. And uh, yeah, uh, we need to thank uh, Shali for putting up the wonderful video. Shali did the editing, right? Oh yeah, Shali did the editing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it wasn't and, an and easy Mahesh task. And Mahesh also, who helped and with Mahesh the backing helped track. With, with. Yeah, programmed the whole track. And uh, it was such a big team effort, but I, I mean, I think it gave us the results that we wanted. Awesome. So I think we're going to... Anything else that you wanted to mention? No, I... No. Okay. It was we'll also my first production with Indian Raga, so I'm very yeah. happy that it happened. I think we were all very excited about the release and also the response, so... Yeah. I'd like to and take have some questions or... Hugs and... From Janaki Gopal. Thank you all. Thank, <laughs> thank you all you, for so you. much uh, love that you're showing. Awesome. So, anyway, looks like uh, we don't have too many questions. When did I start playing? We started at 8 o'clock. So, yeah. No, I don't think that was the question. When did you... Oh, when did I start playing uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mridangam? Okay, so I started playing Mridangam when I was a kid, when I was five. Uh, that's when my training initially started with Guru T.S. Nandakumar, sir. And then, uh, eventually, I started learning from Dr. Venkat Natarajan and his... Guru is Sri T. H. Subhash Chandran, sir, and I progressed on to him after that. So, yeah, I started learning at a very young age, and 
the Murdangam has been an integral part of my life. Konakol I learned uh, in a very absorbed sort of way. I just, pretty much interestingly, I learned Murdangam through my guru without him actually ever playing the Murdangam much. So he would recite Konakol ideas and that's how I would learn Murdangam from him. For so, those of you who didn't know, he was a Gatam genius. So Yeah, Gatam uh, genius and Konakol pioneer. So yeah, that's how he got the... Yeah, this is, that's how I, I picked up Konoko as well. Um, any other questions? No, I think that's it. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, everyone, for all the love. Yeah, and staying with us through this uh, like very special live. I think we've also done the first live together for Indian Raga. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's one more first that you can add <laughs> to the so list that the I've, relationship yeah. with Indian Raga. So thank you all. Thanks for being thank here. Thank you all, and we will see you soon. Hopefully, oh, one more point I want to mention. Actually, that this whole live scenario makes it very interesting for artists because there there are some additional challenges that go into this. So it's not just about me getting on stage and performing or. Uh, her getting on stage and performing, but uh, we have this whole sound setup and. You know, you are listening to audio tracks while I'm playing Murdangam on top. So it's actually way more complicated than it sounds. And uh, definitely it, it was a learning experience also just getting this set up, getting your mindset to do all of these different things to put up a presentation. So hopefully this will... Thanks to lockdown. Thanks to <laughs> lockdown, I guess. The only thing you can say thanks about. But <laughs> yeah. Thank you all once again. And have a very good night for... The folks in India have a good morning and good day for everybody else in the world. So, yeah, we will see you again soon. <laughs>